mobility training tip, I'm going to cover a low back protocol that you can use for, obviously I'm in the Jiu Jitsu niche on this channel a lot of times, but everything I cover is about uh, pure performance for pretty much any walk of life, for any level, uh, to really just get your body firing in a really good fashion. And again, the focus here today is low back protocol. So a lot of us might have this low back that when we get going early in the day that's just tight, can't get going. We're going to start. And again, this stuff I've covered in previous videos where I've really broken down the movement. Today I'm giving you a few movements that you can take and apply as a protocol before you do more complex activities. We're going to start with the McKenzie protocol, which puts us here in an extended position. I'm not going to cue you as much as normal, but shoulders down and away. Breathing through your lower belly here, eyes forward, pointing those toes, and just feeling the full body extension on the front half of your body, and feeling the contraction and engagement on the back half. I would aim minimum of six breaths, six deep, calm, relaxed breaths, roughly five second inhale, five second exhale, will give you a physiological change. That's scientific evidence and proof that's been in some literature out there. I can't cite it exactly, but I can go find it for you. So let's take it for what it is. At least six deep breaths. When I come out of this, I like to tie into a little child's pose as I'm working out of it. And again, maybe the six deep breaths. Allow those hips to open, the shoulders to open, lower belly breathing. So the McKenzie into the child's pose, and then we're going to go into all fours for our bird dog series. Shoulders stacked, hips over knees, alternate arm and leg, balance glass of water on your neck and tailbone. I do about five to ten seconds maximal contraction each side, and I would personally advocate about three sets each side for that, okay? So again, it's a pretty quick warm-up overall, but you can make it longer depending on how you feel like you need to engage your body before getting into your more prime movement. This next one is side plank series that we do. You're here, your shoulder stacked over your elbow. You're gonna let the engage the lat here, knees stacked, pinch butt, squeeze, grab up, proud chest. You can go about five seconds there. If this is really challenging, stay to that one. If that's a little easier, go to this, where you go to like this butterfly base position, maybe another five to 10 seconds. And if that's easy, you can go to the even harder position. From here, and for the whole sequence, we do all three, try to aim for no more than 10 to 15 seconds total. Transition then to a basic plank. Again, about 10 seconds, maximal contraction. And then you go from there, transition to the other side, five to ten, roughly each move, or if you just need to do one of them, choose one of them. I would do that last sequence at least twice through, and again, if you feel primed and ready to go, I wouldn't spend as much time on either of them. You'll get to your main activity, but if you really need to get going, apply all three. 